What is up guys, Jay Bravo back with another video. I'm currently just sitting and waiting for the El Dorado server to come back up. That's the server that I'm playing on. So I just thought it'd be nice to, to make a little video for you guys. And today I want to go over the fastest way to get to 100 mining. So I just completed this. I'm actually at 102 mining in game. And the reason 100 mining is such an important spot is because you can now mine star metal. Now I know that the early levels of mining go pretty quickly once you start going after some iron nodes and silver and gold. But be aware that around level 60 to 70 mining, the grind sort of starts to pick up and it gets pretty difficult to go to go mining for iron. But I have found a way that I believe to be the most efficient way to get to 100 mining very quickly. Before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you guys went ahead and clicked that subscribe button. And go ahead and click that notification bell if you want to get notified for my future posts on YouTube. Now let's get into it. Now I know a lot of you are not going to believe what I'm going to tell you, but the fastest way to 100 mining is simply this, to mine boulders. It's not just any boulder, but the huge beefy boulders in Eastern Everfall. The key about this guide is where you mine the boulders. So Bear Claw Shrine is going to be the quickest way to get there. That's a um, fast travel shrine that's right there next to all the big boulders that you need to mine. And it's basically this big highlands area um, all the way in the east of Everfall. All the big boulders spawn here. There's never really anyone here. And along with the uh, along with the big boulders that you're going to have to mine, there are a lot of iron nodes. And since this is so far from the town, a lot of people actually don't come here for the iron. The huge boulders in Everfall that I'm talking about, like the one you see on the screen, are the ones that don't even look like you can mine them. They give around 100 XP. I think a, a large iron node gives around 230. And I know it isn't crazy, but it's not about the XP, it's about the consistency at which you mine these boulders. And although iron, silver, and gold will give you more XP, you cannot mine iron, silver, and gold every 5 to 10 seconds, or even shorter than that, for hours straight, like you can with these big boulders. There isn't really a route I take for this, but basically in the, in the highland area that I showed you earlier is where all of these huge boulders spawn. I did this for, I think, about an hour and a half uh, from level 60 to 100 mining. That's all it took, an hour and a half. And I was actually running back to Everfall to uh, to turn in my to turn my stone into stone blocks and put them on the auction on the trading post. Sorry, and I haven't really ran into any sort of competition besides maybe a couple iron nodes that, that people have been competing for. But it's basically all up for grabs. And on that note, there are also um, good iron nodes. So if you see them and uh, you want iron, then go ahead and pick them up. They're good XP. And if they're right in front of you, then then you know there's no problem, and it doesn't really affect the time efficiency of this of this guide. So keep in mind that this guide isn't about the resources that you are getting because I know iron ore and silver ore and gold ore are worth much more than stone and stone blocks. But there are a few perks of, um, of mining boulders. First, you have a chance of obtaining either a sliver of adamant or a sliver of adder stone. I don't actually know the drop percent of these, but they're pretty low because I went with about 10% mining luck for an hour and never got one, but there's always a chance. The sliver of adamant isn't crazy, but if you get the adder stone, add that bad boy to a crafted bag and you receive a bunch more encumbrance space uh, as a perk on that bag. Another perk is that with the amount of stone you will get, you can make tons and tons of stone blocks if you bring them back to Everfall. If you're really going just for the XP, then just go ahead and drop the stone blocks, or sorry, the stone that you get. Um, and just keep mining away until you hit 100. But for instance, I was at 24 stone cutting, and after the hour and a half that I mined from 60 to 100, my stone cutting went to almost 80, which is which is just absolutely nutty. The reason I wanted to make this video in the first place is because of how important star metal is. You can begin mining star metal at mining level 100, and when you turn these into ingots, you can make a lot of incredible weapons and star metal tools, which are just crazy if you get all three perks and the ammunition as well. The final thing I wanted to talk about is a few consumables that you guys should take advantage of. The first is a weak proficiency booster that increases the amount of resources gathered. And this is crafted through the engineering profession. The second thing is the herb roasted potatoes that increases your luck while mining. The last thing isn't a consumable, but you should always come prepared with good bags. So you see I have 501 encumbrance. That's because I have two rugged leather adventurer satchel, which increases how much stuff I can hold. So it just makes this guide more, more time efficient. That just about covers it for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying your time in New World so far because I know I am. Keep in mind that if you start making star metal tools sooner than later, you should be able to take advantage of it in the market. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this will help you get to 100 mining soon. I'm streaming on Twitch every day this week at twitch.tv slash jbravotv. And I've also been making New World content on TikTok. So go and check that out. If this mining guide helped you at all, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.